How's it sitting, saplings? Right off the bat, I want to apologize for any background noise. I do have a fan running. It's just going to be subtle background noise. Got some pretty exciting news today to show you guys. Nintendo just dropped gameplay reveal of the new SpongeBob game yesterday. I haven't heard about it up until today. I thought I would hear about it a little sooner. If you guys don't know, I own the original Battle 4 Bikini Bottom on GameCube. Loved it. It was my childhood growing up. I ended up buying Rehydrated and played through the entire thing. Really enjoyed it. Without further ado, let's, t let's take a look at some gameplay and kind of analyze the video. Told you. Look at all those snails the I monster kidnapped! Look! It's Gary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy. Right off the bat, I kind of want to talk about Patrick, how he's kind of floating by Spongebob during most scenes. As soon as the gameplay starts, there's Patrick right there, floating by Spongebob. Kind of like a companion, kind of like how Navi was Link's companion. So I'm starting to think, instead of different playable characters, it'll only be Spongebob this time around. I'm thinking, I'm just, I actually have no clue, but... From what I see here, um, Patrick will be your companion, and Spongebob might be the only playable character. You can see Spongebob use what seems like a new movement set ability. You see him do a cartwheel here, which is a new type of movement. The walking animation looks the same, which I'm okay with, honestly. I also wanted to bring up why does Spongebob have a flower on his face? and also carrying a basket. More than likely this will be answered via storyline. I also want to think this. There's new enemies, obviously. They're no longer facing Plankton's robots. So obviously we get to f see Spongegar, which is awesome. Big fan of that. 
If we back it up here for a second, you can see SpongeBob using the Krusty Krab pizza box as a glider. This is a new movement set, a new ability. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like how with Sandy in the Battle for Bikini Bottom, you were able to use her lasso to hover for a little bit. Also, not to mention, they are bringing back the little, uh, I'm not too sure what they called these. They're bringing back the boxes. That's pretty cool. We see Spongebob taking on a new form here. He's got his karate outfit on. And as you saw there, Spongebob gets ready for a kick, a homing kick. Seems like a new combat move we have here. I also, I don't know if you caught that, I've heard speedrunners complain about this. You have to rely on Spongebob's shadow to really understand where he's going to land. Seems like the developers added a little little circle down here to tell you where Spongebob's going to land instead of a shadow, um, which is quite alright. I, I do kind of prefer that because sticking the perfect jump it can be hard sometimes, not knowing your depth perception. Now that, that was a homing kick right there. Check that out. He just went right towards the target with that kicking ability. That's pretty cool. It also seems like life is represented through underwear still. Don't get me wrong, the game looks good, okay? But does it look as good as Rehydrated? Then again, it is on the Switch, like Nintendo Switch. It says Nintendo Switch. It, it looks like it's lacking a little bit in graphics. I, I don't know. I mean, the shaders look good. The textures not so much. Um, in this level, first of all, Spongebob looking goofy as f I wanted to point out the backdrop. This level is beautiful. The foreground doesn't look as good as the background. Look at that. This might be a rideable seahorse. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. We get gameplay of the rideable seahorse. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I want to know what these bubbles are. Spongebob is collecting some bubbles. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are stoked for Cosmic Shake, let me know how much you're stoked in the comments below. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.